Hello, do you know who I am? I'm the Earth. Yes, the very same planet you live on. And I want to talk to you about a few things that concern me and that should concern you too. Everybody talks about what the weather is like or what it will be like. If it's colder today than it was yesterday, if tomorrow it's going to rain. It's normal because the climate is super important for our lives. It influences, for example, what we wear to school or if we can go and play outside. And it also affects all living things on Earth, including plants. If you met me in a lift, do you know what I'd tell you? That I am hot, very hot, which is due to climate change, which as human beings is something you are quite responsible for. Every time you turn on a light, the computer, the microwave, or every time that you have a shower, you consume energy. This energy is mostly produced by burning gas, coal, or oil, the so-called fossil fuels. When burning them, you release gas into my atmosphere, tons and tons and tons of gas. These gases stay in the atmosphere, forming a kind of ugly and dirty roof that retains heat. This is what is known as the greenhouse effect, because like in greenhouses where plants are grown, this roof prevents heat from escaping, which makes me hotter and hotter. If this temperature rise continues, there will be very bad consequences for me and all living beings. It will cause severe storms and terrible floods. It will melt the ice at the poles, causing sea levels to rise until they flood coastal cities. Forest fires and droughts will increase, turning formerly thriving areas into deserts. It would condemn entire species of animals and plants to death. But can you do anything to avoid climate change? Of course you can. For example, you can use clean energies that are obtained from the sun or the wind. Clean energies that don't produce such harmful polluting gases. Every one of you can help by making little changes by walking or cycling or by taking public transport instead of using a car. Also by turning off the light, the TV or the computer when you finish using them. And of course, taking care and respecting the things that surround us like like animals, forests, rivers, and seas. Do you know how many trees there are on my surface? Almost three trillion. Yep, I said trillion. It is difficult to imagine such a large number. And it sounds like so many. But the truth is, we need even more because they are essential for our environment to remain healthy, as well as for you and me. Every year, 15 billion trees are cut down. It's crazy. When simply looking at a tree, we only observe a part of a complex and fascinating living thing. Underground, you can find the roots and it is because of them that the tree sticks to the ground, while at the same time they suck up the water and minerals found in the soil, allowing it to grow. These roots are also like hands grabbing hold of the earth, avoiding it from being eroded by the wind and water. The water and all the nutrients it receives from its roots extend throughout the tree, through the inner part of the trunk, a true column for the tree top. This is where we find the tree's branches, which grow outwards in a similar fashion to the roots underground. Here is where the leaves sprout out, a fundamental element in all trees, as it is because of them that photosynthesis takes place, so they can feed. What does photosynthesis mean? Well, it's a fascinating chemical process. The water, enriched with minerals, reaches the leaves and then, with the help of the sunlight and the chlorophyll, which is also responsible for the green color they receive, 
is mixed with carbon dioxide absorbed from the air through the leaves. Photosynthesis is essential for trees, but also is really important for all living things living close by, because it traps carbon dioxide, or CO2, which is one of the causes of the greenhouse effect that is making the temperatures rise all over the planet, meaning me, and that's why I'm so hot. During this process, the tree also expels oxygen, an essential part of the air we breathe. And there are many more benefits we can gain from trees. They're like tiny living planets, offering food and shelter to a multitude of different animals. Human beings get wood and fruit from trees. They help soften the wind strength and rain, as well as reduce air contamination, filtering it through the leaves and branches. And I am sure you have found relief under the shade of a tree on a very hot sunny day. Well, they do a similar thing to me. The forests are one of the best means I have to regulate the climate, thanks to their shade and ability to avoid water evaporation. As you can see, there are many good reasons to look after trees. Did you know that people consume a large amount of energy daily in practically everything they do? And did you know that they are both clean and dirty energies? The dirty energies are those which release gases into the air, which cause the greenhouse effect. They come from coal, gas, and oil. The dirty energies also produce toxic residues, such as nuclear energy. When people use these energies for their cars, to heat their houses, or turn on their computers, I become more and more ill. I become hotter, and the air that surrounds me, and which you breathe, ceases to be pure. And that's also harmful to you. And yet, there are other types of energies that don't harm me, and at the same time, allow you to warm up your homes, or turn on your computer. These are the clean energies, also known as renewable energy. Have you heard of them? Solar and wind energy are both clean energies. The sun and the wind produce clean energy, and thanks to them, you can continue turning on the lights or showering with hot water without harming me, without contaminating. As I want to stay clean and healthy, and I believe you do too, I'm going to ask you to make small but important changes to your lifestyle. And some of them will also give you more strength and energy. Do you want to know how you can win the battle against dirty energy? You can ask your parents to take you to school on foot or by public transport. Like that, you won't be consuming diesel oil or gasoline, which are both dirty energies. And don't forget, if you walk or ride your bicycle more often, you will become stronger and fitter. You can also take showers instead of baths, which use less water, meaning less energy to heat it. Go up and down the stairs, because the elevator also uses energy, doesn't it? If you were to do these things, and a few more that you can think of which can save energy, I will be happier and cleaner. By making intelligent decisions and working all together, we can make it happen. Because as you know, children can make a world of difference. <laughs>